Hey, Jeffrey Paul, founder of Wigs for Kids with an exciting invitation for you and a guest I want you to meet. June 11th this year, we're gonna have an exciting all day expo for inspiration. You're gonna meet the kids, you're gonna meet national speakers, and you're gonna see some incredible marketplace items. So let me introduce you to Teresa. Teresa, welcome to Wigs for Kids, and we are so excited that you're gonna be with us at the event on June 11th. Teresa, tell them what you're gonna be doing there and why they should come and, and visit our event on June 11th. Great, thank you so much, Jeffrey, for the introduction. Um, I'm very excited about the expo coming on June 11th. I am a local jewelry designer in the Cleveland area. I'm on the east side in Chagrin Falls, and I've been making uh, creative and unusual designs for about 10 years. And over time, my business has evolved. It started from, um, working uh, to make jewelry designs with my three boys to keep them um, active and to do things that they, they could focus on. And over time, I've become really a mentor for a lot of young girls um, of different ages and different backgrounds mm. and teaching them the skill. I'm actually dialing in today from the Dominican Republic. Wow. And I <clears throat> work with some of the girls at a local school that also help to create some of the designs as well. Well, you got a multifaceted gift. Uh, not only did you take your parenting uh, into uh, a skill set of business, but you're also now carrying it further in, in mentoring young women. T tell us about the jewelry. Is that beautiful piece that's around your neck, is that a part of your jewelry collection? This is pretty much my signature piece. It's a large circle that, that sits at a choker length, and it's a wonderful piece to layer with. A lot of my pieces can be layered together. This is also one of my pieces. It's a beautiful ring um, with a blue chalcedony stone. Um, but really the idea is to be able to create a look of um, layering pieces that you know might be difficult to find uh, if you were shopping in a store piece by piece. So you'll be able to help the, the people coming to the marketplace on June 11th actually put a little wardrobe together of jewelry rather than just a piece so maybe the listening audience should really think about coming in with the, an idea of their clothing or something they'd really like to accent. That would be something really special. Yeah, great suggestion. Oftentimes when, when women are getting dressed, you know, you don't think you need jewelry, but then you realize that the neckline is um, requiring something that's more of a statement. And of course, um, we can help with that perfect design look. Um, in addition to necklaces, I also um, have a, a phenomenal selection of earrings and bracelets as well. Wow. You know, my wife mm -hmm. is that way. She's getting dressed in the in our closet and she'll come out and she'll show me the outfit and I'll say, it looks great. And she'll go, wait, wait, something's wrong. She'll go back and she'll try a necklace on or she'll try something on. And until it meets the, her standard, being an artist herself, it really, what you're saying is so ringing true to me because jewelry is such an accent that compliments everything it's like a hairstyle and of course for our kids mm -hmm. you know no hair to to a hairpiece and wig really frames the overall child and the masterpiece that's there so I'm excited about seeing your work now you're gonna bring a whole collection of your your jewelry to the event yes. on June 11th yes so I have uh, pieces that are bold and I uh, have a big statement and then I have a lot of delicate pieces uh, as well so there's really a little something for for everybody depending on their needs what a special gift. Are you going to be doing any jewelry uh, work while you're there? Or is it just basically a display that'll be there? Uh, generally, it's a display, but I often will bring uh, maybe one of the girls I'm mentoring. Um, typically, we'll bring our supplies so that if uh, something needs to be, a, a necklace needs to be adjusted, we can do it on the spot. So that's oh. a great suggestion. I'll make sure to bring my tools. Uh, and will, will people who maybe that want to become a mentor, is that an opportunity for them to sign up at the uh, at the marketplace? Sure, yeah, I mean, I, I welcome, you know, any types I've had. Um, I've had kids that are on the autistic spectrum help, and I also have uh, a young girl that I've mentored, and she has her own um, booming jewelry business right now. So all different levels, you know, I welcome, uh, welcome anyone. Teresa, you got a heart. I can't wait to give you a real hug. Uh, on June <laughs> 11th. You. For you, the listening audience, June 11th at Crocker Park. I mean, it is going to be an exciting session at, at Crocker Park. We're going to have inspirational speakers all day long, and it's free. And you can do yoga, you can do cycling. There's a whole series of, of things that you can sign up, and you go to wigsforkids.org, all letters, 
wigsforkids.org and you'll get to meet Teresa and many of the others that we'll be interviewing over the next couple days to help you know it's really going to be a day of worth it but all said and done it's all going to wigs for kids to help children look themselves and live their life as you can see over my shoulder uh, the relationship of children have lost their hair from cancer treatments to burns to trichotillomania to alopecia and they will be there too they'll be also telling their story so don't miss Teresa and the beautiful jewelry she'll be showing you and maybe even become a mentor of hers but also Teresa I want to thank you for being here this morning with us and uh, being with us on June 11th from nine o'clock to four we'll just be mesmerizing with jewelry and stories <laughs> and inspiration and you'll be a part of it Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to bring a lot of my friends from the east side to be there as well. And I look forward to seeing all of you.